welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's Coach Tina again with you, with you again today for another video. Uh, we are going to be making dinner tonight and I'm going to tell you it's going to be super easy. It's all going to go right in my oven over here. Um, I decided on, um, let me see what they're calling it, garlic parmesan roasted veggies. So I'm just following a recipe that I found online um, and I'll link it, of course, I'll link it for you guys. And since I was already going to warm up the oven, which is super hot today, but I'm still using it because I wanted to make this for dinner. I decided I had some flounder in the fr freezer, so I put it in some cool water to start it thawing while I'm working on all the veggies. Now, the veggies called for in this particular dish are different than what I have on hand, um, so I'm going to be using what I have. So I'm gonna take you through the process of that. Um, 10 points for whoever knows what that is. I'm sure a bunch of you do. Um, we are getting a CSA now, um, Consumer Supported Agriculture, and um, so we've been getting and eating vegetables that are not our norm for sure. I never bought kohlrabi before and um, and now we've been eating it and enjoying it actually to be quite honest. Um, I will tell you as soon as this kohlrabi shows up in the house, the leaves are super nutritious and so I actually take the leaves off right away and I pop them into my um, dehydrator and I dehydrate, dehydrate them. And I know I've talked about that a lot because I'm doing that and then creating green powder out of all the green tops to all these amazing veggies. So I do the same. I have some radishes here that are gonna go in my veggie, um, oven roasted veggie mix here. And um, I do the same for those too. I pull those radish tops off, wash them up, pop them in the dehydrator. And then when they're done, they get powdered carrot tops also excellent for you, but most of us don't eat them. Ooh, I should probably be wearing an apron, but that's okay. Um, now, if you haven't used kohlrabi before, something I learned <laughs> is this outer side of it is very fibrous. And um, so you really wanna peel down a little bit into the meat of the vegetable and eat that because the fibrous part feels just tough. <laughs> it's like super tough. So I'm gonna spend a minute here making sure I get all of that off of the edges. Some parts I'm having a little trouble getting to, so I'm gonna just dive in here with my knife and make sure I get a nice clean cut away from all that fibrousness, because believe me, it's not good. I didn't know that the first time I made it, so I didn't cut away enough. And we were left with a lot of chunks that I did not <laughs> appreciate and that just were plain not edible. So I'm gonna make sure we, we can eat it tonight. So if you have kohlrabi or if you use kohlrabi, I'd love to know how you make it and what you do. Now, if you wanna know what it tastes like, um, it's kind of in the, I think it's the cabbage family that I read because I had to read up on it to see what to do with this thing. And I think they said cabbage family and it does have a flavor very similar to that. Um, so it's very mild. Um, easy to eat. This recipe is a Parmesan um, combo that I got going. I'm gonna just pitch this real quick. Um, so anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna just be placing all my veggies in this glass bowl right here and we're gonna cover them up with some uh, delicious things. I got some seasoning sitting here ready to go. So I'm just gonna kinda block this out and, and keep rolling along. And so I'm, I've been coming up with a lot of, well, both coming up and searching for a lot of recipes for veggies because we do have a lot of veggies. And so to make sure that we're eating them up, I'm finding a lot of good recipes to add to our daily routine. And my husband, his name is Scott, will be able to easily go through um, this dish tonight. I'm sure together, especially since it's a little lighter with the fish, um, option with it so we'll be able to eat up these veggies they'll be our filling portion so that kohlrabi gave us a nice i don't know at least a cup of veggies right there look at the cutest little tiny bell pepper ever that i got in my box i actually should probably eat this raw because it looks delicious and i might just do that um so anyway, I got this beautiful little pepper. I think I'll set it aside because I might just munch on that. And then I got all these little carrots that came in colors. See that? <laughs> so I'm gonna cut these up. And these aren't gonna take much because they're already pretty small. So I'm gonna just, 
probably cut them in coins, you know, maybe thicker coins um, to add into our mixture here. And they'll be delicious and they'll get used up again because there's so much produce. We get a half a bushel of produce a week. So what I can't eat, we process to save um, for when we cannot get our CSA anymore. This will only run us through October. And my goal is, is we'll be able to put up some produce for um, the winter. And so I've been actually freezing some stuff for smoothies and such. And, um, and I'm gonna, I plan to do a lot more of that. And actually, since we went away this weekend, I don't know if you guys saw my post over there on my business page on Facebook, but my husband and I went away for the weekend to um, Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg for our anniversary. And it was wonderful fun. Sorry, I have a part here that I just think doesn't look very good. So we're gonna try to get that off of there. Um, it was really fun, but the downside is, is if we leave, nobody's eating the veggies. <laughs> so, it's like I get home and I feel this urgency to use up vegetables. But we have been drinking, and if you guys haven't seen it, I'll try to remember to post it for you, but we have been having um, earth milk every night. And so that's been really wonderful. Um, and I will post my speedy earth milk hack um, link in the description here, but if you are wanting to jump over right now or go search for it, um, it is on my Facebook page or on my YouTube page. Sorry. Um, yeah. So anyways, I, that's a super fun, easy, easy peasy recipe that takes, uh, no time at all. And I created it because I love earth milk. I really do. And I think it's such a wonderful tool for getting in all your veggies in a day, but God bless them. Their recipe is a lot of work. And so I just wanted something that would make that so much easier. And so I created that recipe myself to do exactly that. So I would still have earth milk without feeling like I was having to create like almost a whole nother recipe all the time. Um, do you guys remember, or did you happen to see on my business Facebook page where I asked people for ideas on what to do with radishes? <laughs> well, this is one of the ideas, just oven roast these guys. And honestly, people said, you know, you won't even taste it. And they're right, you don't. I found that um, it's very mild. It just tastes like another veggie, doesn't bother me in the least. And so I've actually thoroughly enjoyed doing this. You know, I actually think I have a couple of little potatoes in there. And since this is such a light meal, I could easily make this a light e-meal and add those into it. So I might do that. Let's see here. So yeah, this base recipe, that fish and all of these non-starchy veggies, in case you're wondering, um, make um, a wonderful fuel pull meal. And then if you wanna make this into an S, now I am gonna put add a little Parmesan and I'm gonna add a little olive oil, but not very much. It'll be light enough that I think I can still get away with pushing this into E territory. Because remember, you're just looking to keep it at about five grams of fat per serving, and I think I'll easily be able to do that. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. Let's see here. We're working our way through. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is kind of a nice base meal that you can add anything to that you like to make it an S or an E, or if you're looking for a nice fuel pull meal, enjoy it as one. No need to... Um, necessarily change it up, right? All right, so I have this gorgeous onion. And yes, all of this is from my CSA. My husband picks it up for us every um, Wednesday, right by his work. And um, so far we've been super happy with it. It's really pushed my, my creativity limits as well as um, the amount of veggies we're eating is exponentially bigger. I can only tell you, it's amazing. Uh, let me tell you, that is one way. If you wanna to try to get more veggies, join a CSA. <laughs> you'll be staring all these veggies in the face every week and you'll want to eat them up and not let them go to waste or store them for later. And it really does push you out of your norm and your comfort zone, that's for sure. Um, okay, so let me see here. I'm gonna, I have all my little fishes sitting here in this cool water. I'm just going to flip them upside down and see they're already starting to thaw out. 
And so these will go on a mini pan while all my veggies go on a bigger pan. All right, so we are gonna add in broccoli next. Oh, I dropped a guy. Oh, I had a couple jumpers. All right, we will wash these off. I'm so here. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna add in some broccoli to the mix. This really is such a quick, easy dinner. You know, and it's interesting. I was talking to my daughter the other day about how I was watching these videos. Have you guys ever seen these videos where they are cooking, but they're like quiet. They don't say a word. You just kind of watch what they're doing. And, and it's kind of that listening to the quiet sounds that come with cooking, not all the talking. And um, I was watching one of those and I just had this kind of epiphany where I realized this particular video that I was watching, <laughs> let me back up. And it was a, a particular video where it's a woman that lives on her own out in the mountains. And um, she makes these amazing meals for herself. And I don't know, does she do it every day? I have no idea. Um, does she just do a few for the channel? Maybe. But what I liked and what I was kind of taking away from it was She's all alone and she's making these gorgeous meals for herself that had beautiful presentation. They were thoughtful and I and they were filled with a variety of wonderful, beautiful looking ingredients. And I thought, how often do I just make a meal for myself? Like if my husband's busy, let's say, or even if he's not, and I just wanna get something on the table. Okay, and I'm not saying there's anything necessarily wrong with that. Um, but I often will just cook quickly to get it done and I loved how she kind of took time to make something beautiful just for herself. I don't know, I saw it really as kind of a neat act of self-care and self-love. I, I don't mean to get too crazy about that but it was just kind of a special thing to watch and I thought gosh we really are worth taking the time to spend actually enjoying the process of preparing a, a good meal for us and offering ourselves a, a lovely variety of foods. And let me see if I have potatoes and I'll come back with that second. Okay, I didn't have a potato, but I did find a lovely little yellow squash that could get eaten up. So we're going to add that. Okay, so along with what I was saying, um, <laughs> so that whole idea of self-care through our food, it's something I thought about for a while and I, and I hope nobody takes this in the wrong way at all. Um, and you know, do what works for you. These are just thoughts I have, okay? These are just thoughts I have. But um, for me personally, I don't most of the time want to eat off of a paper plate. I do enjoy very much um, having my food look really pretty and plated well. I like a variety of colors on my plate. I like to have berries added to it or other things um, that make it special. And so that's important to me. And you know, I actually kind of learned about that as I was food blogging. When I started that, I realized when I went to eat the meals that I was photographing for my blog, I realized, oh my gosh, I actually really like the process of making beautiful plates even just for myself and I enjoyed eating off of them. I enjoyed having a variety of pretty plates to eat from um, and cups and uh, things like that. I'll actually show you. So right here, I take you know my supplements every morning. I found this really beautiful, um, it's actually plastic, but I love it. Pink is my very favorite color. And I found this at a store one day and I bought it and I had no real need for it, but this is my supplement cup. <laughs> I drink every morning out of, and it just makes me happy. It's such a simple little thing. It was inexpensive, but um, yeah, I really did find that I kind of just love this whole process of making beautiful food for not just myself, but my family, but um, even just for myself, I guess is what I should say. Even if it's just me, I still really like that. Um, so I don't know, it's kind of an encouragement I'd like to give to you guys. Take the time, make your food beautiful. Um, there really is something special about that. Okay, so anyway, and I'm not gonna dump this. This is the bottom of my broccoli and I definitely am going to um, cut it up and save it to be probably put in a soup is what I'm thinking I'll probably do with it. 
or a stir fry. That's a great way to use this bottom half. I'll cut off some because this is very um, hard and down at the very bottom, but I'll get to the part that's still very edible. And I'll package it up and then I'll probably, I'm thinking probably stir fry now that I say that. Okay, so to this little dish here, I mean, and it's really full, so we're gonna do our best to not make a giant mess, so you're gonna get to watch me do that. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil because it's what I have. And I'm just kind of eyeballing, I know, I'm sorry. And then um, this, oh, I think actually I'm gonna put that on last. Yes, I am. Okay, and then I have here um, just some, look at these guys, Italian herbs, and I'm gonna be a little generous with those guys. I'm gonna guess I have about a tablespoon and a half in there or so. I've got parsley. And then I'm gonna add in some garlic powder. Okay, and then of course your standards, right? Pepper and some salt. And then when these veggies come out, what I'll do at that time is I'll sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan on and I'll um, kind of stir that around, but not let it bake on. I don't want it to burn because these are gonna be in a hot oven. So now we are going to try the magic process here of kind of incorporating all of this into a jumper. That's okay, you can stay down there for now. I'll try to scooch this over. I didn't think I was gonna make this much, but look at all that. This is over eight cups of veggies, you guys. <laughs> but you know, it will totally bake down some, but I'm thinking I might have veggies for a couple of days and that's okay too. You know my policy, right? Cook once, prep multiple times, eat off of it multiple times. Wait, no, prep one time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you know my policy. Spend some time doing some prep work and enjoy the fruits of your labor multiple times through the week. Whew, I could not get that out today. I don't know why. All right, so here we go. This is actually looking pretty good. I'm getting up some of those kohlrabi pieces and my radish pieces from the bottom and everything's getting covered. All right, so over here I have a sheet pan and it is covered with a silk hat. And we're gonna just dump all these guys on here. to yeah everything got covered amazing you just never know yeah so I mean we'll eat still a fair amount of this to be very truthful and honest with you guys um, it is a lot of food but we will eat quite a bit of it so there you go <laughs> all right so I'm gonna pop these in the oven they should bake Oh gosh, probably 40 minutes or so. So I'm gonna pop those in. Okay, so I set a timer for 20 minutes on those guys and I decided I'm going to just save my little bell peppers over here. Okay, so my fish is nice and defrosted now. And I have, I don't need that anymore. And I don't need this anymore. I'll just keep munching on veggies. Ooh, they taste good. Coated in the oil and all the seasonings, they still taste good even though they're totally raw. Um, so now we're gonna take our fish and we're just gonna do something real similar to it. Hold on, I guess I gotta clean up a second. I have too much of a mess here, you guys. Okay, sorry, I had to clean up there for a second. So we're going to take our fish and do something a little similar here. Kind of the same flavor palette that I did with, um, with the veggies. We're gonna just pat these guys dry. Um, so this is flounder, in case you didn't, I didn't say that already. Um, so this is just little pieces of flounder fish that I got. 
But I am, let me put the water out. There we go. I had them sitting in that water right there. It was just cool water and they were completely frozen, but I wanted to have them for dinner. So I just pulled them out and, um, and I'm just patting them dry. And it's just gonna be a very, very simple, easy dinner tonight for us. A little fish. I'll give my husband two of these and I'll have one of them. Um, and then I'll have a lot of veggies to go with it. And it'll be quite perfect for dinner tonight. All right, so patting these guys dry. And then let me wash up really quick. Okay, so as you can see, I have three pieces of flounder sitting here. And I'm actually gonna just use some of the same seasonings I had. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil, and I never found those potatoes, so I can be a little bit more generous with this. And I'm gonna just sprinkle on a little olive oil onto each of the pieces. Kind of putting my finger on there, which it's perfectly clean, um, to allow the oil to come out a little slower. And I'm just gonna kind of, oops, there we go. I'm gonna kind of pick them up and move them around the oil a little bit, get both sides coated. Because these will not need to be flipped. They are so thin that these will cook out very quickly. Those veggies are gonna take about 20 minutes and these will take, I don't know, seven minutes, eight minutes. They'll cook really, really quick. Um, so I just wanna get them all prepped and ready to go. And, Oh yeah, see that's a nice big piece right there. Well, prepared. All right, so I got those guys all covered. And now I'm just gonna season them gently with the garlic powder. And then a little parsley. Nothing big here, just, just getting a little flavor on them. And they'll match up with our veggie flavors. And then I'm gonna be a little more generous with my um, Italian seasonings. I know, Italian fish, sure, why not? Why not? And then of course, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And then I actually think I'll probably grab my onion powder and add a little onion powder to this as well. All right, a little onion. So it's just a nice little simple straightforward mix of flavors on there. <laughs> Looks pretty good, right? So when that, those veggies are, well, let's see. As soon as they're done, I'm gonna pull that pan, rotate it and put it back in for 20 more minutes, but I'll probably set it for 10 minutes and I'll pop this in at the same time. And then I, my hope is I'll pull both of these out at the same time and dinner will be done. I'll be back. Okay guys, dinner is done. So I'm gonna pull it out and put it right here so you can take a look. And I'm gonna sprinkle um, some Parmesan on everything and finish it up. Give me a second here. Look at that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, here we go. Okay, look at that, there is my roasted veggies, all done. They look absolutely amazing. Let me see here. Maybe I can put them this away. How am I gonna show you guys everything? There we go. There's those, and now let's pull out our fish. And there they are. Let me turn off the other. Let me check my fish and make sure it looks like it's all done on these thickest parts. Yeah, for sure, that looks great. All right, and then all I'm gonna do here is just put a little sprinkle of parm on top. And then a little bit more generous on this. And I'll give it a little stir to incorporate. Okay. See, they really did, I was joking about that, but they really did um, cook down quite a bit. And so this isn't that much in the way of extra veggies. This will be super delicious. And then actually, to be honest, I'll probably, see, I think my husband and I can eat most of that for dinner tonight. Um, yeah, plate, two plates. 
plates. Okay. Here goes my husband sneaking in. Can you hear the door? So I'm gonna plate up our dishes and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna be generous on the veggies. We need to eat up a bunch. Oil wouldn't let these stick, but they did stick a little bit. All right, there's one plate. I really think that we can go through most of these tonight, so that'll really help us out on enjoying some veggies. And to be honest, I didn't get a lot of veggies in throughout today. I didn't even drink my usual earth milk. So I guess I'm gonna pack them in for dinner tonight. Ooh, that almost, no, that looks all right. But it is stuck, let's get it off of there. All right, guys, and there we go. Dinner is served, that was so easy. One, just two pans, a little chopping in the oven, out. Dinner's ready. Take care, bye.